had. And then it's the snow, and that's coming really tonight and tomorrow as far as sizable accumulation. Whether or not you're going to have to shovel snow blow, let's break out this graphic. One of the first times this year we're showing. It's going to be wet this morning, so little issue there. Roads in good shape, actually. Just hold on to the steering wheel. For this afternoon, some of us may already have to do some shoveling. I think it's going to be up towards the Tug Hill, maybe in the hilltops to the south and southwest of Syracuse. You're likely going to have to snow blow or shovel, maybe even plow in a few select spots. Not everyone seeing the same amounts. And then some of us still having to do it in the afternoon tomorrow, but I think Syracuse will be much improved towards the finish of the day. We're seeing the back edge of some steadier precipitation, rain and snow on fossil service experts live triple Doppler radar. Notice to the west of Onondaga County in the Finger Lakes, it's mostly dry and these are just some scattered lighter snow showers and flurries, but it's lake effect that's already being generated in between. There'll be some breaks of sunshine that moves in here in Syracuse towards mid or better chance towards late morning before the lake effect clouds and the snow showers really start to kick up. The winds kicking up with the chilly temperatures in the mid 30s, making it feel more like low to mid 20s for a wind chill. So bundle up. Here's what you need to know. It's windy, colder for today and turning white, especially this evening. Uh, you know, you're going to be able to travel in and around central New York this evening, but especially as we go through the overnight, those roads are really going to be hampered with falling temperatures and the snow adding up really. Now that shifting wind tomorrow means improvements in central New York's weather, maybe heading downhill in northern Oswego County up to Jefferson County as the band moves to the north. Much improved Tuesday. We're going to be into the 50s with some sun Sunshine will feel like spring is sprung for today. Definitely wintry. We've got lake effect snow showers this afternoon south and southeast of Lake Ontario. Some improvements up here east of Lake Ontario. Now as we go towards the later afternoon, the lake effect snow band starts to set up southeast of the lake, and this is the area that's primed for the heavier snowfall totals for tonight. That's right around the Syracuse area. Heavy at times, this band of snow. So if you're down towards Ithaca and Penyan, really no issue for tonight. Watertown to Lowville to Old Forge as well. Only a couple of flurries. But we've got that snow heavy at times right around the start of the morning commute. So not good timing. It does move north during the morning and then during the afternoon into Jefferson County. And it's weakening. So we get some breaks of sun. That'll help melt the snow tomorrow afternoon. When it's all said and done in Syracuse, I think 6 to 8. But a 4 to 8 inch amount in a lot of central New York with Isolated spots, most likely in Oswego County, maybe northwestern Oneida County, up to 10 inches of snow in the next 24 to 30 hours. So 37 are high today. It is chilly, colder, with strong wind gusts this morning and midday. We'll have the lake effect snow showers developing this afternoon. And then the snow really flies tonight in central New York. Roads turn a little bit icy as the temperatures fall. It's breezy and cold, still breezy, chilly tomorrow. Lake effect snow early lifts east of the lake. And we'll get some sunny breaks. We warm up with that sunshine on Tuesday. That's my pick day, 53. Big travel day Wednesday, no major issues. Some scattered snow showers and flurries in the morning. Wednesday become isolated. Morning flurries on Turkey Day will be in the upper 30s. So those turkey bowls 